When you meet Marcus Holloway in the story, he's a young hacker who is, for the first time, having a sort of sense of community and family with other hackers. Marcus is a programmer, self-taught. He's passionate, he's a fighter. His personality is a lot of fun. Uh, I think he's just been cool. Marcus is somebody that was raised in Oakland. At the beginning of the game, he hacks into a system, and you see he's got a profile, right? All these labels are pushed upon him because of where he's from, his family's history. The system has said, this is who he is, and he's fighting against it. Marcus is fighting against injustice at its very essence, at the core of everything, and he just wants everything to be fair. It's about our loss of privacy. It's about our loss of control over our own lives. It's even worse than he thought it was. And because of this, he knows he needs more power behind him. And uh, a way to do that is to find a group of like-minded people with the same skill sets to work together to fight against the system. DeadSec is a worldwide organization, but for us, we're dealing specifically with the cell that's in San Francisco because DeadSec is many voices. Marcus comes along because he's looking for the right group. And what's wonderful about DeadSec in San Francisco is the diversity. Oh, by far, Marcus's closest friend in the game is The Wrench. Wrench is the resident uh, engineer and also problem solver. He's the demolition man. You know, if you need anything blown up or like, he, he's going to go out and create some anarchy. He just likes getting into trouble. He wants to get into a good fight. My character, Satara, she's a rebel. She's playful, but she's also very serious. She, she has purpose. Satara, she likes to do graffiti and all types of artwork. She's the one responsible for uh, creating all the visuals that Dead Sex is going to use, so it really becomes more memorable. She's looking to change things through her art, through her message. She wants to engage people mentally. <laughs> And then we also have Josh, who I think is very much our human connection. Josh is in the group, not very outspoken, but when he does, he has something important to say, and often inappropriately so. He's the brain. He's, he's the coder. Anything tech-heavy, he's going to do it and figure it out. This guy can hack through anything. He can bypass any firewall. They're not trying to take down society. They're good people who are trying to do something right and trying to discover something and just curious. We see the evolution of the group itself throughout the game. And it's their sort of connection and journey together that drives the rest of the game forward. I think anybody can relate to the joy that Marcus brings to the missions and also the passion that he brings to it. He still has fun. He represents the fun aspects of the hacker culture. He does parkour. He's got drones. He's driving with his phone. I wish I could do that. People are really going to relate to the fire underneath the engine when Marcus gets started and he's trying to finish something.